Welcome y bienvenido en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo, del Espíritu Santo. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, as individuals, as families, as a parish family, as a diocese, we have journeyed together through 33 days of preparation and prayer. And now together, we come to dedicate or rededicate ourselves to Jesus through Mary. Hermanos muy queridos, por 33 días nosotros hemos orado y preparado nuestras almas y vidas para renovar o dedicar o rededicar nuestros mismos a Jesús por la Virgen María. Y ahora nosotros podemos dar nosotros vidas, todo lo que tenemos y todo lo que somos a la Virgen María, a su Inmaculado Corazón, como un regalo, como Jesús mismo, Dios su mismo ser a la Virgen María en la Anunciación para que la Virgen María podría dar Jesús al Eterno Padre como sacrificio, en consecración, en fe y amor y esperanza a la cruz y durante todo su, de su vida. And so, brothers and sisters, we come together this day to dedicate ourselves to Jesus through Mary. We give ourselves to the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Mother just as Jesus did in the Annunciation and throughout his life so that Mary may give us to the Eternal Father, just as she gave Jesus in faith, in hope, in love, at the cross, and every moment of their life together in Nazareth and during his ministry, so that we too can work with our Lord Jesus Christ as members of his body, building up his heavenly kingdom. Entonces nosotros, como miembros vivos del cuerpo de Cristo, la iglesia, podemos edificar el reino de Dios. Podemos ser cooperadores, co-trabajadores con Jesús en esta misión de salvación. Entonces ahora nosotros vamos a preparar nuestros mismos a renovar nuestras promesas baptismales por las manos de la Virgen María y vivir más y más cada día esta dedicación a Jesús por María. And so, brothers and sisters, together we are going to renew our baptismal promises with Mary's help. And we know that through her intercession, by her example, through her maternal love always at our side, we will be able to give great glory to God through Jesus Christ. And as we prepare ourselves for this dedication, we remember the teachings of St. Louis de Montfort. Never be afraid of loving Mary too much because you will never love her as much as her son does. Entonces, mientras estamos preparando nuestros mismos para esta dedicación, nosotros podemos meditar y recordar en las palabras, las enseñanzas de San Luis de Montfort. Nunca tenga miedo de amar a la Virgen María demasiado, porque nunca se va a amarla como mucho como Jesús su mismo ama a su madre, la Virgen María. And so together, brothers and sisters, let us pray. Let us ponder and let us praise the Lord who gave us Jesus Christ. And let us praise Jesus Christ, the Father's only Son, who gave us his blessed mother to be our mother too. Entonces, hermanos, nosotros podemos orar y meditar y alabar al Señor juntos. Y podemos dar gracias al Señor Torporoso por haber dado, por habernos dado, Jesucristo su único Hijo. Y podemos dar gracias al Señor Jesucristo por darnos su Madre bendita, para ser nuestra Madre bienaventurada también. Let us pray. Oremos. O oh God, who made the mother of your Son to be our Mother and our Queen, graciously grant that, sustained by her intercession, we may attain in the heavenly kingdom the glory promised to your children. Dios Todopoderoso, que has querido darnos como Madre y Reina a la Madre de tu Hijo, concédenos amarla y venerarla como verdaderos hijos suyos y obtener por su intercesión el reino de los cielos. Por nuestro Señor Jesucristo tu Hijo, que vive reino contigo en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, es Dios por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to the festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? He went down with them and came to Nazareth, and he was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and man. The Gospel of the Lord. the faith of Mary. What would have happened if she had said no or ignored or delayed her response to your angel of love? But for our sake, she believed in your word and that one perfect act of faith made her your handmaiden forever. And so today, I want to be like her. And I want to love you, even though I may suffer the thorns along your way of the cross. Give me, O Lord, the faith of your mother, that I may give you my yes, a yes without measure. Give me, O Lord, the faith of your mother, that I may renounce myself and entrust my life to you. Although the sorrow of your wounds pierced her heart like a sword, although her soul cried out, still she remained at the foot of your cross. And by believing, she became our queen and the mother of us all. And you have united us in your eternal family of love. And I want to remain in your love, kneeling at your feet. That's the only thing that one day will remain. Give me the faith, O Lord, the faith of your mother, that I may give you my yes, a yes without measure. Give me the faith, O Lord, the faith of your mother, that I may renounce myself and entrust my life to you. Hubiese pasado si hubiese dicho que no, o ignorado, o dilatado el anuncio de tu ángel de amor. En cambio creo en tu palabra se hizo tu esclava. En un acto perfecto de fe y hoy quiero ser como ella y amarte a que duela las espinas y el camino de la cruz dame la fe señor 
la fede Maria. Para decirte sí o oh sí, un sin sin medida. Dame la fe, Señor, la fe de María, para renunciar a mí, a mí, entregarte mi vida. Pasaron con una espada su corazón y su alma lloró el dolor de tus heridas. A los pies de madero se quedó y podré es reina y señora y tú nos incorporas a tu eterna familia de amor y yo. Quiero permanecer postrado a tus pies, es lo único que un día llevaré. Dame la fe, Señor, la fe de María, para decirte sí o oh sí, un sí sin medida. Señor, la fe de María, para renunciar a mí, a mí, entregarte mi vida. If you would like to dedicate or rededicate yourself to Jesus through Mary, if you would like to renew your baptismal promises through Mary's holy hands and love Jesus with her immaculate heart, then I invite you to pray along with me and repeat after me in your own language. We'll be using the prayer of consecration found on page 118 of Father Michael Gately's book, 33 Days to Morning Glory. Si se gustaría rededicar o dedicar tu propia vida a Jesús por la Virgen María, si se gustaría renovar las promesas de su propio baptismo y amar a Jesús con todo el corazón de la Virgen María al Inmaculado Corazón de Nuestra Madre, entonces, por favor, repite después de mí. Vamos a usar la oración de consecración del libro de Padre Michael Miguel Gately, 33 días de glorioso amanecer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I state your name. Yo diga tu nombre. A repentant sinner. Pecador arrepentido. Renew and ratify today. Renuevo y ratifico hoy. In your hands. En sus manos. O Immaculate Mother Mary. O Madre Immaculada Maria. The vows of my baptism. Las promesas de mi baptismo. I renounce Satan. Renuncio a Satanás. And resolve to follow Jesus Christ. Y decido seguir a Jesucristo. Even more closely than before. Aos man de cerca que nunca. Mary, I give you my heart. Maria, te doy mi corazón. Please set it on fire. Enciéndolo, por favor, with love for Jesus. Con el amor por Jesús. Make it always attentive. Hazlo siempre atento. To his burning thirst. A su ardiente sed. For love and for souls. De amor y de almas. Keep my heart. Guarda mi corazón. In your most pure heart, en tu corazón purísimo, that I may love Jesus, para que yo pueda amar a Jesús, 
and the members of his body y los miembros de su cuerpo with your own perfect love. Con tu mismo amor perfecto. Mary, I entrust myself totally to you. María, me entrego totalmente a ti. My body and soul. Mi cuerpo y mi alma. My goods, both interior and exterior. Mis bienes interiores y exteriores. And even the value of all of my good actions. E incluso el valor de todas mis buenas acciones. Please make of me. Haz de mí, por favor of all that I am and have, de todo lo que soy y tengo, whatever most pleases you. Lo que más te agrade. Let me be a fit instrument Permíteme ser un instrumento digno in your immaculate and merciful hands en tus manos inmaculadas y misericordiosas, for bringing the greatest possible glory to God. Para rendirle a mayor homenaje posible a Dios. If I fall, si me caigo, please lead me back to Jesus. Por favor, dirígeme nuevamente a Jesús. Wash me in the blood and water. Lávame en la sangre y en la agua. That flow from his pierced heart. Que brotan de su corazón traspasado. And help me never to lose my trust. Y ayúdame a no perder nunca la confianza in this fountain of love and mercy en esta fuente de amor y misericordia with you o oh immaculate mother mary contigo o oh madre inmaculada maría you who always do the will of god tú que siempre haces la voluntad de dios I unite myself to the perfect consecration of Jesus. Me uno a la consecración perfecta de Jesús. As he offers himself in the Spirit. Mientras se ofrece en el Espíritu. To the Father. El Padre. For the life of the world. Por la vida del mundo. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Hijo, and the Spirit of Santo. Amen. Agase in me. Maria, tu si dio luz a nuestros ojos, una sencilla si dio nueva vida a todo el mundo. Enseñanos a seguir en tu via santo. Enseñanos a orar cada día. Hágase en mí lo que has dicho. Hágase en mí lo que has dicho. Venga tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad. Hágase en mí lo que has dicho.
el Señor esté con ustedes. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San Lucas. Isabel se llenó del Espíritu Santo y exclamó en alta voz, Bendita eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre. ¿Cómo he merecido yo que venga a mí la madre de mi Señor? Apenas llegó tu saludo a mis oídos, el niño saltó de alegría en mis entrañas. Dichosa por haber creído que de cualquier manera se cumplirán las promesas del Señor. María dijo entonces, Celebra todo mi ser la grandeza del Señor, y mi espíritu se alegra en el Dios que me salva, porque quiso mirar la condición humilde de su esclava. En adelante, todos los hombres dirán que soy feliz. En verdad, el Toro Poroso hizo grandes cosas para mí. Reconozcan que santo es su nombre, que sus favores alcanzan a todos los que le temen y prosiguen en sus hijos. Su brazo llevó a cabo hechos heroicos y ruinó a los soberbios con sus maquinaciones. Sacó a los poderosos de sus tronos y puso en su lugar a los humildes. Repletó los hambrientos de todo lo que es bueno y despidió vacíos a los ricos. De la mano tomó a Israel su siervo, demostrándole así su misericordia. Esta fue la promesa que ofreció a nuestros padres y que reservaba a Abraham y a sus descendientes para siempre. Palabra del Señor. And so, brothers and sisters, having dedicated or rededicated ourselves to Christ through Mary, we give thanks to God for the gift of so beautiful a heavenly mother, and we ask him through the blood of his Son and through the power of his Holy Spirit to continue to help us each day to be worthy sons of so worthy a mother, worthy subjects of so worthy a queen, that we might one day be worthy to stand in his own presence, in his kingdom, where he has prepared a place for us, and where with his Son and the Holy Spirit, he is one God forever and ever. Amen. El Señor esté con ustedes. Y la bendición de Dios, todo poderoso, desciende sobre ustedes y permanezca para siempre en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo, del Espíritu Santo. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Demos gracias a Dios. Thank you.